This is one of Fontaine's new bosses in its natural habitat, a big crab known as the Emperor of Fire and Iron. This is that same boss, not in its natural habitat. <laughs> Great, now there are two of them. While adventuring out of bounds in Fontaine, I stumbled upon this odd discovery. Far below the crab's arena lies a place called Nice to Meet You. Yes, that's really what it's called. It's a peculiar place. The in-game map will tell you it's in the west of Fontaine, far away from the crab boss. In actuality, it is directly below the crab. Said crab falling out of the sky and bonking Shao on the head should be proof enough. Being so far below the map, it's a wonder that the boss is even loaded in. Clearly, its arena isn't, because it falls. But this isn't unprecedented. Back when the chasm released, I observed part of the Ruin Serpent staying loaded in from very far below. I don't want to make a definitive statement, but perhaps loading for boss monsters does not check a player's vertical position? Uh, that all said, this is the first time I've seen one fall. The crab being down here means I have the opportunity to do one of my all-time favorite things in video games. Push enemies off cliffs. Always much more exciting when it's a big baddie. How convenient! The slope carries the crab without me having to put in any work. Slowly but surely, our pile is sliding towards their doom. This is it. What? Oh, come on. Invisible terrain? Really? Wait, might it walk off the edge and fall? It is trying to climb the slope, but <laughs> that's obviously not happening. Unfortunately, it walking off the cliff also is not happening. Drat. Time for some co-op magic. As we've seen before on the channel, desyncs in co-op are weird, especially those involving enemies. We're about to create one using the crab by forcing the game to make two separate outcomes simultaneously true. Thus, we're back where the video started, with two big crabs in the same co-op world. One is above ground in its arena. One is below ground, far below its arena. What affects one crab instantaneously affects the other, like some sort of quantum entanglement. Fontaine enemies are a different breed, I tell ya. And because that is true, if I drop one off the cliff, it will count as dropping both off the cliff. You may be wondering how any of this helps with trying to push it off the cliff. After all, it will still slide down that slope, hit invisible terrain, and stop which is exactly what I thought going into this. Originally, I went into co-op only to observe how the game would behave with one player in the arena and the other below. But then I got a little surprise. The crab wouldn't aggro on the player below unless attacked, which meant I could push the crab and that invisible terrain was no longer an issue. So while Nilu does some intensive labor, I'm sorry Nilu, let's take a look at why there are two crabs to begin with. To put it bluntly, there's still only one crab. While it very much looks like there are two, that's because of a desync between co-op players and the game attempting to make sense of it. That whole thing about two separate outcomes being simultaneously true. To break it down, on one player's screen, we have the crab in its arena, everything is normal. On the other player's screen, we have the player in an area where the crab loads in, but its arena does not. Thus, the crab falls. The game must satisfy both players' perspectives simultaneously, therefore creating a temporary desync and allowing the crab to be in two places at once. The reason it never corrects, all throughout Nilu's ordeal of pushing it off the map, is because no change happens to the crab. Without some sort of triggering event, such as attacking the crab or aggroing it, the game will not do anything. Now, as for why it never gets aggroed, I'm not entirely certain. Maybe a bug caused by it falling multiple times, or perhaps it has something to do with the player just outside its arena. Either way, we've arrived at the moment of truth. Uh, 
that's disappointing. I wanted to see it get instantly KO'd from falling into the void. I'm beginning to think bosses are immune to these instant KO triggers, because this isn't the first boss I've dropped off the map. No, that honor belongs to the much more complicated child. Now he's got a friend down there. Well, I can at least simulate the result I wanted, because with the experiment over, Mr. Crab, I no longer have any use for you. Nilu, do it. Thanks for watching, and do make sure to subscribe to keep up with more Fontaine fun. This is Musashi, signing off. Till next time.